All right, we're back. We're running out of memory there. Memory core swap. Okay, so it looks like it's working good. So now we're gonna take it apart, goop it up, put it together for real. If we're lucky, it goes back in the same spot like it is this time. Won't be any drag. Let's cast it back off without tearing it. Be careful. That's good. All right. Good three and a half hours so far. I'm putting oil pump on. Already a day and a half worth of work on already before. Okay, that comes off. Bolt out of there. Shut up. Put it down my toolbox. I'm tired of hearing it rattling. It pisses me off. Things are sliding apart nicely now. They're getting all broken in. Where's that gasket at? Okay, I'm gonna get this off without tearing it. You use a putty knife to help back it up so you don't tear things. Be a bitch, you have to swap the gasket out after we got it all finally fitted. This bottom corner is the worst spot. Kind of pull the gasket this way here to get it to release itself. Whichever one is farthest in is the one you need to work out. Yeah. When you start getting them off the studs it helps a lot. Whenever you can pull one off the stud, do it. You want to make sure you didn't tear it right between the bolt hole there where it's real thin. Still looks like we're good. So we'll save that one. I haven't destroyed it yet. That's a miracle. Okay. We'll get our key that's in there. Where'd it go that time? Down there in a gray hole. Okay, so now we can go ahead and snot everything all up. So we use gasket cinch around here. Just the right amount of age on it now, it's starting to get hard, get thick, like I like it. Don't put it on the gasket, sir, on the where the gears go. That's all we can do on that. Put on the gears around, put on the pump body over here. Stay off the gear teeth if you can, preferably. Take much, just a light coat. That's all you need. Okay, so here's the gasket. Put it on the gasket board. Go 
that support it. Try not to tear it. <laughs> These gaskets are really frail, so be careful. Gasket cinch is getting a little thick. Good. Seals up more of a gap. Ooh, be careful down there. Don't leave it stuck to your board too long. You won't be happy when you can't get it up. <clears throat> and you just go put it back on the door over here. Be careful not to tear it again. I use the oil pump body to shove it on all the way. Fingers are sticking to everything right now. All right, that should be good enough to put the body on. Okay. Assembly lube. The new bottles are black. This is old. I just keep refilling my old bottle because I like my old bottle. Okay, this gear can come out. Because it's an idler gear. So I can get that one out too without losing it. Just rotate like this and eventually gravity will drop the other one out. Okay, you gotta be careful about not losing the key here. Not that this is, none of this is pre-lubed, so I want to get it up off the gasket surface a little bit. Uh, with the oil pump body surface, I can lubricate the back side of the pump there. Something to go in there where I want it to. Usually I'll lubricate this before I put the gears together, but in this case we are not. Do the same trick on this side. Kind of soak down onto the shaft there a little bit. In. Get the other side spun around too. All right, that should be pre-lubed enough. Let me put a lube on the idlers here. It also lubes the uh, gear, the back side of the gear there too, so it doesn't stick on you. Some more. They're a little snug. Kind of rotate a little bit, see what's going on. We're already dripping fluid out of there. He's got enough lube in there. Get that off the gasket surface. Too much lube. Lubricate your shaft so the bushing don't run dry in there. Same place it stopped last time. This time I'm going to tap it on. And you want to make sure that the gasket goes over the dowels. It doesn't fold up over them. What's going on here? 
Trying to break the gasket there. I'm stubborn. There it goes, finally. Okay, that one's already in. The other deal slipped on real easy every time. This one a little bit more complicated on this side. So it went in there like it's supposed to, it looks like now. My impact knocker to tighten up a little bit more than I was doing before. Better work on it. Okay, it's in there good now. Make sure now you get your other gaskets here to do. Kind of time sensitive, which means don't screw around too long. Get the job done. The water doesn't seem to bother the gasket sealer. Just just moves it out of the way usually. Let's stay put. sealer on there so I don't need to do this side. Do the same thing with this one. Knock my basket board over. Okay, flip this over. Okay, that one's done. Wrong side, dummy. Just putting a bit on the big cover here just for the hell of it. So try to stay away from the go the gaskets go. Make sure you're not blocking the oil holes. Air bubble. I think we've done this a hundred times before already. Except this time it counts. That and I didn't like going on there very well. Of course I got goo on my fingers, I'm gonna have something to do with it.
on your X pattern again. You go well when you're feeling it stretch and probably tight enough. <clears throat> These you pop or just get loose off if you go too far. Okay, I'm gonna put our key down in here. I think we'll find a snap ring to go in there too at some point. Usually I put the snap ring on before I put the whole pump together, but these early pumps have so many parts. Get it this way. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in my ass. We'll find out. Okay, that one's in. Here to be tight down there right now. Tight there for a second. Had to get, get some goo out of the way. Nice free again. That's what we're looking for. All right. Okay, now I gotta put the snap ring on the end of it. So the first thing I do is start covering up stuff so the snap ring doesn't go where you don't want it to. And that hole right there is a big problem. Covered up. Okay. Now, we don't have a snap ring yet, so we get one. 